you can forget about this old man spear or lichen. Lichen. Lichen? Lichen. Forget about it. They say that a good indicator for when to use uh, these twigs is to listen to the sound of it when you uh, break it off. But that's not always the way to go. You see these long cuts, it didn't cut right off, instead there is this lip to it hanging and this is an indicator that this wood is moist, it's damp, you can forget about it. Definitely forget about picking up from the ground. And definitely forget about this guy here and this guy here. Forget about them. So what's this about then you ask? Well, we are looking for uh, good material to start a fire, good dry wood, and uh, let me explain. Even though the weather today is warm and sunny, everything else is wet and moist. Uh, we are in late autumn and it is the season of uh, going towards cold and wetness and moisture. It's not the season when things dry out. Late autumn to early winter is the time when uh, it rains a lot. The, uh, the weather is preparing for winter and with it comes uh, temperature decrease so it gets colder and colder at the same time as the uh, warmth of the earth leaves and uh, every night there is condensation every morning everything is soaked and wet it's, uh, if you're not well prepared and you are out there it's one of the most miserable times you can experience out in nature you have to be prepared to be constantly wet, constantly cold, and have troubles making fires. And then as winter comes closer, this moisture and this rain, this con condensation, it gets locked inside, it freezes inside the wood, it freezes in, on top of everything. Small twigs uh, that are you think are dead beneath big nice uh, spruce trees that you think are dry but they are saturated with moisture and uh, the freezing temperatures just locks this inside and so late autumn and into uh, winter is uh, the most difficult times to make a fire so with that in mind in the northern hemisphere up here in northern Sweden that's how it is so with that in mind, you have to uh, be prepared for it and uh, you have to uh, uh, select what uh, makes a fire or you come with fire from home. This is just me, but uh, when I prepare to make a fire, I don't like to uh, run around looking for different materials such as combustion materials or, or lichen or... I like to find everything I need in one place and enough of it so that I know I can stay there for longer. I don't like running around searching for for different materials and uh, especially in winter or late autumn when it's dry high summer doesn't really matter sometimes you don't even need to make a fire but for the times when you do need a fire 
like cold winter or late autumn when everything is wet or super cold, minus degrees, snow, wind. I like to find everything I need in one place and stay there and have enough of it to stay there for a longer time. So for the purpose of this video, I am looking for a big enough dead standing tree and from that one I can make everything I need to start a fire or a fallen tree with a big nice root system and uh, the reason for that is that the root system is uh, dense enough to not allow any moisture to crack into it to leak into it to seep into it and uh, it's also full of turpentine which is uh, makes it very flammable and it even burns violently and if you find a big enough uh, root system it will last you many days here is a dead standing tree but uh, it's pretty small and uh, we need something bigger because this the moisture has probably penetrated from all sides here and it might have gone all the way through even if it's standing so uh, we need something larger in diameter circumference some old bear scat <laughs> 